14 ayes. Or 14 present, I'm sorry. And Alderman Bourne and Alderman Versi are both excused this evening. Could you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item is the approval of the minutes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes from our last meeting? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes. There are no resignations or council appointments to deal with tonight. Next is our public forum. City clerk. Uh, yes, this evening we have one on our public forum, Joanne Scribner. Joanne, if you could please come up to the front. And Joanne, can you give me your home address, please? Three Seneca Trail. All right, and you will have five minutes. You can go ahead. I have a few things to discuss tonight, um, so if I'll try to get them all in. Uh, the first uh, issue would be the retired folks, the ladies and men that work as uh, parking lot attendants at the Boston store parking uh, facilities where you go in, the gate opens, you know, you get two hours free parking and then they take the ticket from you. You either are free or you pay a quarter or 50 cents or whatever for the extra time. Um, the Transit Commission, um, word on the street, would like to put in new automated equipment starting sometime in early 2014. That's fine, I'm, I'm all for automation, uh, but I'm also for saving the jobs of nine or 10 people who are mostly probably retired people, outlet, their social, their outlet, their social, their part-time in, part income. Uh, some of these people work right across from Grand State Hotel on Niagara Avenue there. They are people who can answer questions about Sheboygan, where is this, where is that, uh, from the guests that would stay at the Grand State Hotel. Um, so my biggest complaint, despite the fact that I know the equipment on Niagara and 8th is broken, does not work, by Art Emig. Um, and I've heard from various people that I've talked to, Eric Mensch, Mayor Mike Vandersteen, Tracy Robinson, that um, the equipment is obsolete. Can't buy this stuff anymore. Get into high tech equipment. So if that is the case, I can understand then why you wouldn't be able to replace that same equipment with same equipment from a different company, for instance, or repair the equipment if that is no longer an option. But anyway, my biggest complaint about the automated system that could happen, and I guess it's not quite a done deal, it's still in discussion stage, is that nine or 10 people would lose their jobs. I hate that when that happens, don't you? Retired people, it's a social outlet for them. They answer questions, they earn some money. So that would be my um, opinion on that. Um, handicap accessible spots on the north side of City Hall. I'll probably tick some people off on this one, but oh well. Um, why can you not keep those two spots available. Jim Boren has a problem with his walking. Scott Lewandowski definitely has a problem with his walking with a partial leg amputation. What is it about money? Is it about political retribution? I'm a conservative fiscal, but sometimes the Democrat part of me would say, hey, these people need to have close accessibility to the building. They work as older people, for goodness sake. So my comment there, I would say, keep the two 
handicap accessible spots open. Don't remove them. Number three issue, I've talked to Dave Beeble about this already. Um, the city restrooms uh, in the city parks during the summer months. Rotary Park, there were some tourists here from Germany, Milwaukee. There was no toilet paper at Rotary Park, which is right by the cardboard boat regatta on the 4th of July, it had run out. And so to the Department of Public Works, I've already complained to Dave Beeble, he knows I complain a lot. And, um, and he does a good job. So it's most of the, you know, they, they do a good job. Um, but if you can just make sure, DPW, that you keep those toilet paper rolls always there, um, keep them always filled up, and some um, hand soap would be nice. It'd be a nice touch to have hand soap available in you know, little push containers so we could actually wash your hands. Okay. Last issue would be the public forum guidelines. Now I understand I was out of line when I was talking for two times about Sparkies. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but what would be nice would be, and this is what the county does, they give you, and I don't know if the city has, does this or not, they give you this yellow piece of paper with the guidelines on what you can and cannot discuss at public forum. Most of the things are the same as the city, five minutes. Excuse me, Joanne, would you like that extra minute? One extra minute, please, Sue. Pardon? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So it would be nice if, you know, I don't know if you do this or not, <coughs> but if the city could just have on black and white, hard copy, send it out to whoever, whoever is speaking on public forum. This is what you can talk about, just city issues related to the city government. Five minutes. You can't speak if you're a candidate for office. That's one of the rules of county board. So those would be my comments for tonight. And thank you very much. Thank you, Joanne. Next, we'll go on to uh, mayor's announcements. <coughs> Uh, the Pink, Pink Brigade is a march for cancer education, awareness, and prevention that will be taking place on Saturday the 19th at 9 a.m. starting at the Sheboygan County YMCA. It's a two-mile uh, walk, five-mile run. Our next Common Council meeting is going to be our second uh, City College class. Begin at 545, and the subject is uh, Fund Balances 101. Sheboygan Department of Public Works will be resurfacing Taylor Drive and Union Avenue. These repairs will begin next week on 1014. This project is anticipated to last about two weeks. See the city website at sheboyganwi.gov for detailed information on lane closures. The fall leaf collection program started today and it will run through 1122. Residents are allowed to rake their leaves into the street gutter for weekly pickups by the street sweeping operations. And on the DPW page, you can find out their uh, schedule per day each week. Uh, the Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride Program uh, have association meetings that are scheduled. The Wildwood Neighborhood is meeting at the VFW Hall on 552 South Evans Street at 6 o'clock on uh, next Monday, 1014. And the Memorial uh, Neighborhood meets on the, at Memorial Hospital at 630 on Wednesday, 1015. And the Ellis Historic Neighborhood Association is hosting a free family movie night this Friday at 6.30 at the Spaceport Building, the old Sheboygan Armory. And today the Parks Department began uh, reserving park shelters for the 2014 <coughs> events. Some of the residents were up and waiting for the spot before 4 o'clock this morning to get their reservation. The reservations can be made in person at the Department of Public Works on New Jersey Avenue. Next, we'll move on to a hearing pursuant to a notice published by the finance director per section uh, 65.94, the, the Wisconsin statutes. There's a public hearing scheduled for this evening at which any resident or taxpayer of the governmental unit shall have an opportunity to be heard on our proposed budget for 2014. <clears throat> Alderman Hammond? Anybody wishing to be heard? Anyone wish to be heard? 
Does anyone wish to be heard? Does anyone wish to be heard? Then Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to close the hearing. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Will the clerk please call the roll on closing the hearing? Fourteen ayes. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda and include items uh, 3.1 through 3.26. And just a note that 3.18 would lie over. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file our, all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and put all ordinances and resolutions upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes. Next, we'll move on to reports of officers. <clears throat> Item 4.1 through 4.10 will be referred to various committees. <clears throat> Under resolutions, 5.1, a resolution by Alderperson Hammond authorizing the mayor to execute the settlement agreement with Walgreens regarding the property assessments for the three Sheboygan Walgreens stores for tax years 2010 through 2013. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, first, I'd ask, uh, I'd make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, will you please proceed? We, we're still in the old, yeah, okay. I'll still do it. Mary Lynn? Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. 14 eyes. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move we put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to 5.2, a resolution by Alderman Vanderweel authorizing the city attorney to engage in the services of a special outside legal counsel to re represent the Law and Licensing Committee and the Common Council with regard to a quasi-judicial hearing regarding the suspension slash revocation of taxi cab operator license number 4943 and authorizing payment for said services. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you. I move, the, the, move to suspend the rules. Second. Does the clerk call the roll on suspension? Kevin? Second, yeah, we will approve. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. 14 ayes. Please proceed. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Thank you for that motion. Is there a second? second. It's been moved and seconded. Any uh, discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on the motion? 14 ayes. Motion passes. 5.3 is a resolution by Alderperson Hammond authorizing the issuance and sale of up to 8,900 no, eight million nine hundred and seventy-four thousand and eighty-one sewerage system revenue bonds, series 2013A, and providing for other details and covenants with respect thereto. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Um, again, I would make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. Okay. Would the clerk please call the roll on suspension? Thirteen eyes. What happened? Please proceed. <coughs> um, I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The motion on those um, bonds are before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Uh, items 5.4 through 5.6 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, we have item 6.1, an RC by law and licensing recommended denying a taxi cab operator license 0091 based on his failure to accurately reveal all convictions on his application, his record of violations related <coughs> to the license activity, and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. 
Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's moved and seconded to uh, accept and adopt the RC under is, discussion. Is Rick Wappler here this evening? He's not here. Um, we had invited him to our meeting on two separate occasions and he did not appear either time. Is there any other discussion on the motion? Would the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Item 6.2 is an RC by law and licensing recommending denying taxi cab operator license 8913 based on her failure to accurately reveal all convictions on her application and uh, record <coughs> of violations related to the licensed activity. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion on the floor and under discussion. Is Heather Rhodes here this evening? She is here. Um, the committee did vote four to one to deny the license. She is going for her taxi cab license and she has numerous violations related to it. Um, in 2011, she had a seatbelt violation. 2011, also a speeding ticket. 2012, she had three seatbelt violations, also an obstructing, um, two thefts, and operating after suspension and a failure to yield making a left turn. So the committee felt that that was enough to um, deny her license at this time. Thank you for those comments. Would you like to make any comments? Okay. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on the motion? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Next is item 6.3 in RC by law and licensing recommending denying beverage, beverage operator license 0119 <clears throat> based upon her record of violations related to the licensed activity. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion under discussion. Is Ashley Wallen here this evening? She is here. Um, the committee voted five to zero to deny her license. Um, she had a 2010 and a 2011 underage alcohol conviction as well as a 2011 correct um, um, the reason the committee was a little concerned <coughs> about her, her license is that um, for the disorderly conduct the police had came to her door and the <coughs> people living in the home decided not to answer it because they didn't want to get in trouble so they kind of ignored the police and a uh, disorderly conduct ticket was mailed to them so we were concerned as to how the cooperation would be with the police department when she's in the situation of uh, beverage operator license Thank you for those comments. Ashley, would you like to make any comments? Please step up to the podium. Um, I realized that what I did was wrong and that um, by allowing me to have my beverage license, I would be at work and I would never you know, make myself or my coworkers or my boss get in trouble or jeopardize the establishment that I work at. All right. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Any other discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 11 ayes, 3 noes. Motion passes. Next is item 6.4 in RC by law and licensing recommending denying a taxi cab operator license 8147 based upon his failure to accurately reveal all convictions on his application, his record of violations related to the licensed activity, and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you. I move the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Is Jorge Galicia here this evening? He is here. Um, we had invited him to our committee on three separate occasions, and um, there were some phone calls back and forth, as well as he was at the last uh, Common Council meeting, and he knew when the, point, the next meeting was going to be, and I was assured that he would be there. Um, so we did deny, based on his failure to um, attend our meetings, and we denied it five to zero. Thank you for that report. Would you like to step up and make any comments, sir? Okay. Any other discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <coughs> 14 ayes. 
Next is item 6.5 in RC by Public Protection and Safety submitting GO 23 of 13 14 relating to the parking restrictions to remove two <coughs> handicapped parking stalls behind City Hall and immediately east and west of the back door. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. And the ordinance. And uh, the, the ordinance be put upon its passage. I'll second that. And so we have a motion and support under discussion. Seeing no discussion, would the clerk please call the roll? Ten ayes, three noes, one abstention. Next, we'll move on to other matters. Assistant City Attorney. Thank you. Um, document 7.4, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2014 and June 30th, 2015. That'll be referred to law and licensing. And document 7.5, submitting a communication from Alderperson Lewandowski, submitting a proposal that no changes be, may be made to any parking area within 1,000 feet of Sheboygan City Hall without first being referred to the Public Works Committee and voted on by the full Common Council. That it be referred to Public Works. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I, I would like to suggest that this uh, document gets referred to Public Safety and Protection as it is the committee that deals with any parking issues. Okay, is there a second to that? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Change the referral to Public Protection and Safety. Any discussion on that motion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes from the referral. Need these as well. 7.1, a resolution by Alderperson Donahue establishing the monthly premium equivalent rates for the dental insurance plan effective for January 2014 coverage. I refer to salary and grievances. Document 7.2, a resolution by Alderperson Donahue authorizing the city to enter into contract for obtaining medical stop loss insurance. Also referred to salary and grievances. And 7.3, a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2013 budget, establishing revenue and appropriations for donations from Walmart for smoke detectors, pretreatment at wastewater treatment plant, and book purchases from donations from Mead Library. That'll be referred to the Finance Committee. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in a closed session under the exemption provided in Section uh, 1985 point, or 1E, Wisconsin Statutes, for the purpose of deliberating the possible purchase of public property where the competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. <clears throat> that uh, is, motion is before us. Will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. We'll all take a five-minute recess and reconvene. <laughs> 